Uh, what are you finding? Yeah. Well, I'd say there's a couple of things we're really committed to in our work at HHS. Number one, making sure we continue to have the best biomedical research in the world. And number two, making sure, which President Trump has said over and over again, that we 100 percent protect Medicare and Medicaid. But there's a lot of opportunity. So if I take NIH as an example, today, if you're an NIH researcher and you get a $100 grant at your university, today you get to spend 60 of that and your university spends 40 of that. The policy that we're proposing to make is that you get to spend 85 of that and your university spends 15. So that's more money going directly to the scientists who are discovering new cures. Another example at NIH is today they have 27 different centers. They got created over time by Congress and they're typically by disease state or body system. There's 700 different IT systems today at NIH. 700 different IT systems. IT software systems. They, don't they can't speak to each other. And so they don't talk to no. one. They have 27 different CIOs. And so when you think about <laughs> making great medical discoveries, you have to connect the data. Time yeah. out, time out. You said no, no, 27 it, different chief information officers? <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. And, and most correct. of them are non-technical. So um, there's a lot there. There's a, there's a lot of opportunity. It will make science better, not yeah. worse.